to worship you when I wake up in the morning, yeah, and I long to oh, to behold your face, to behold your glory, Lord, and I long to worship you. The psalm is declared, when will I appear before thee? He said, I long for thy house. Psalm 63 and verse 1. O oh Lord, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee to see thy glory and thy power. He said, such as I have seen it in the sanctuary. I long to be in your sanctuary. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. Yeah, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in God's house. He said, better is a day in the presence, in thy tabernacles, O God of Jacob, than a thousand elsewhere. You've come to Mount Zion tonight, the city of our God, the innumerable company of angels. You've come to the spirits of just men. You didn't just come to a structure. No, sir. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. You've come to you came to Zion. You came to Zion. Oh, we bless your name. We give you praise. We give you praise. We are here to bless your name. Mark chapter number three. I will be able to just say something by the Spirit of God. Respect your time. And then we'll see where the Spirit of God will lead us. Mark 3. Jesus had encountered a man with a withered hand at the synagogue. Healed. And because this is an encounter service, I want to talk about the protocol of encounters. Mark chapter number 3, I will give a charge and then we will run uh, from Genesis chapter number 28. Mark 3 and verse number 9, my verse of emphasis is coming down on verse number 13 and verse 14. And he spake to his disciples with uh, that a small sheep should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. <laughs> Very interesting verse, Morris. He spake to his disciples that a small sheep should wait. So whoever thought that Jesus didn't have an entourage, there it is. He, he said, my way of coming is via a sheep. I need you to pack something out there, out front. Um, MS, Jesus. MS, something sheep. Because I would be coming and I don't want the crowd mm -hmm, to be overexcited and then jump on me. So, uh, Brother George put out the bends on the other side. And let Maurice do with uh, the jet at the airport. I will be coming shortly to minister. This is Jesus talking in your language. So, so they put out a ship. That the ship is just sitting in the ocean to wait. He will come and use it. Um, <laughs> it's good when a ministry has facilities and it has options. This is Jesus and he is speaking not to the crowd. He is not speaking to the good to see you, Julie. Not to see and anyone. He didn't ask for anyone. He said to his disciples. Well, you look at your neighbor and just tell them God will bless you with something. So that you can serve the purpose of the kingdom. Yeah, so God had blessed Peter the sons of thunder, Bartholomew, Andrew, Nathaniel, Suzanne, uh, they had a name Naomi, and the rest of that bunch, 
that they had several businesses going on someone um had a salon the other one could be running something with herod the other one do that's procurement to the government of herod another woman is dealing with business peter was the fisher of men he had a company uh, that was dealing with deep sea fishing so he had vessels not one so jesus says he spake to his disciples that a small version of the many ships should wait for him because of the multitude verse number 10 for he had healed many does the bible say many for he had healed who mhm in so much that they pressed upon him for a, to for to touch him and as many as had plagues let me say something here for he had healed how many it is in the healing of many that the bible declared in so much that that healing instead of doing something it attracted many more that's the reason why the word in so much in so much he had healed many in so much that they pressed upon him for to touch him as many as head plagues i am looking for an anointing hear me i am looking for an anointing that when you step off whatsoever whether it's a boat whether it's a jet whether it's a car park and you're in the market or you are in town or you're in a conference hall you're in dubai you are in church that dimension of in so much many thronged i'm looking for that anointing Mm. he had passed healed meaning he had come out of a healing meeting and people knew by the evidence of the power of god that was present right so instead of waving him by the service is ended good night he extended they went actually to where he was supposed to go hence the reason why he whispered to peter sir If you don't do something about my transport we will be here. You see? Yes. So <laughs> they had to put something out there to control the crowd so that there is a a a a space between him and the crowd. That came not because there was a good teaching. Read your Bible again. He had what? Healed many. There is something about the supernatural power of God that can can compress your one year sermon all of it one year ministry all of it supernatural there is something that can come into a room into a ministry that when it touches one person like let's say the big shot in this community the one madman woman or something that is known in the entire worker and the power of god hits them and it is noised abroad that this person that used to collect something paperwork or has lost them their mind in ruaka has been made whole the people will not come to church to see the pastor they will actually come to see both both the person that healed and the person that was the church in this hour can never function without the supernatural We need to come out of the functioning of just the word without power to come into the place of word with power. The scripture declared and God working with the apostles and God working with them and God working with them. The church cannot function without what? The supernatural. I'm going somewhere. Just hold on a bit. They pressed upon him for to touch him as many as had as has had plagues 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 like covid is a plague and then the bible declared they were coming to touch and yet covid you are not supposed to come closer right yeah it is a plague 
but when it comes to Jesus the people were not taught they were never put on a five point agenda on how to touch on how to tap in they knew if we touch we are good so they were thronging at least to lay hold now i want to dissipate dispel a little theological something here because we have seen men and women of god when passing people touch their feet and it has been called worship have you seen something like that had something like that there is a place for that and we can correct that error by teaching but there is a place of genuine hunger and genuine honor yes it might be cultural that in some other cultures people prostrate to greet or to to show honor but in this kingdom the bible declared as of jesus as according to the community he was ministering that were the jews right the scripture declared they thronged to touch him the woman with the issue of blood said if i would only but the hem of his garment it was prophetic because he she must have read from the law that the priest in the order of moses would put on the priestly garment and the priestly garment from the crown or well, from the neck downwards would have different elements so she wouldn't come and touch the priest at the neck the healing wasn't at the neck but the pomegranates and the bells were at the hem so that when Aaron would go into the holy of holies the bell would be there the pomegranate which was symbolizing the fruit of the spirit were attached at the hem so that is what represents healing is there no balm in gilead right it was an entire tree that physically had healing what properties so the woman knew it is at the feet not at the height but on the lower end of that garment that healing would flow but yet jesus said who has touched me the theological <laughs> explanation of peter is we are so many so i mean look at this all entire crowd who touched so the woman didn't touch physical the woman the woman touched the virtue on the pomegranate which was the symbolic of the spirit of god that has been poured on the son of god without measure so she pulled in a virtue of healing jesus said not that physical touch i'm talking about who has touched the office of the Christ. And don't she turn found the woman. In another scripture Jesus is walking, the man comes and says my son has been taken by demon spirits and he throws her he throws him to the water and to the fire two elements and he gnashes with his mouth throws out. And Jesus said the Bible says he came and prostrated You see that? Right. So when a person walks out of the crowd and comes to me or to the woman of God and kneels down or touches my feet there could be something he knows that you and I don't know. Mm, it is not just human worship every time. And there is this thing about very uh, it's a very demonic thing council that has come to church now that people every other time god is shown honor in an anointed vessel it is equated to human worship every time yet i have read through the scripture and i can show you one after another that there are places that jesus didn't touch that there are people jesus spoke to there are people who touched jesus without his consent and they were made whole there are people that shouted in a service so who said the church should be quiet dignified until you're all told say amen amen you see that and you, do you know that the supernatural in the character of jesus was left to the disciples the great commission was not just given to us it was given to fast the disciples right and they carried the same tradition and they went up to the uh, to 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 the fast to the uh, upper room in acts chapter number 
and the bible declared in the day the person we call now the holy spirit came there was noise in that service it was so noisy george to an extent that the people gathered so the holy spirit that came to you must have should have would be must be noisy okay let's take a trip the bible declares that when god spoke genesis chapter number 1 the spirit was hovering in the cool and in the deep of the waters and then god said let there be and there was light all right and then jesus comes and says when he the spirit of truth shall come he shall guide thee in all truth john 16 john 17 and he begins to pray for the disciples then he tells them in acts chapter number 1 you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you you shall be my witnesses so go and tarry in some place same spirit holy spirit that sat quietly in genesis is about to come let's see how he's coming this time he's not coming to create creation has already ended in that facility of the godhead he is now coming to make men to become witnesses so he comes in Je- in acts chapter number 2 when the day of pentecost had fully what come that is 50 days in terms of counting and the bible declared they were gathered together in one place in the upper room 120 they were about 500 by the way before it is the fasting <laughs> that chujad jokas and then 120 remained mm. we begin 21 days fasting we are believing god find an entire crowd until it is lunch time day 3 then uh, there is a meeting in the evening you come uh, find it we began many sunday by the time it's getting to the 10th day it's reducing you know why is the same there were 500 the commandment when jesus was ascending was about 500 people present the one that the spirit came over were about 120 you remember gideon aha uh-huh. i will not just save by many let me now test so they came 22000 to the river he said this is the test whoever will lick the water with their weapons the rest was fear and they have left their weapons and they are licking tents send them home they, they all of them went back from 22000 to about 12000 it came to 300 mm, the journey beginning not a problem i have learned that i know that that's why when i i we had a inaugural meeting we were packed that is expected it will always be, even to the overflow don't expect them the next sunday expect the people that god has drawn by that test on the water you see that yeah otherwise you will you will be thinking what just happened am i not anointed blah Mm-mm. he draws them to the upper room and then the spirit of god came he didn't come cold quiet all of a sudden <sighs> like a mighty wind and they were filled with the spirit of god and they began to do what they began to so the evidence that the spirit of god in the new testament has come is not quiet the evidence that the spirit of god is in a place is that there will be noisy there'll be noise there'll be shakings there'll be thunderings there'll be quakings all manner of the operation of the spirit he that created to put order into creation is not the same he that is putting men to create When it comes to the spirit of God filling a man is different from the spirit of God creating a space. He created and on the seventh day he rested. But notice when he breathed upon man in Genesis chapter number 2 the Bible declared he breathed the breath of God on Adam and he became a living soul not a living spirit. Mhm. We call him the holy Yes but when he breathed the breath of God unto Adam Adam became a living soul not a living spirit and then 
Paul comes into the scene in Romans chapter number 8 let me show you he says if the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in you by that same spirit will he quicken your mortal bodies by what by his spirit Romans 8 and verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised Jesus or Christ from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you so the spirit which we call the holy spirit when it comes to men in the new testament born again by the spirit of god he is called the quickening spirit that is why it had to apply in acts chapter number 1 to set the precedence for the entire body of christ he is the holy spirit but the bible declared he is the one that quickened jesus to rise from the dead and if you read then there he says <laughs> the spirit then therefore beareth witness with your spirit that you are indeed the child the one that validates that you are truly born again is the holy spirit not jesus the word of god has his entire office cut out he is in heaven seated at the right hand of the father psalm 110 sit down at my right hand till i make thy enemies what to become thy footstool so the administrator of everything in the godhead now is called the holy spirit but he is a quickening spirit so back to mark i finish my scripture and then we go to genesis i will quote it by the spirit of god genesis 28 and 11 the place of encounters in so much so that he charged them that they should straightly not make him known mark 3 and 12 by the way that version he straightly charged them he's speaking about demons not disciples not his verse number 10 and verse 11 and unclean spirits when they saw him when they saw who they fell down before him wait Wait, 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 wait. I don't know how you read your Bible. And the unclean what? Whenever they do did what? How? Who has seen a spirit here? Okay. So if I have not, you have not. Then spirits have eyes. Right? They saw him. And then they fell down what is the scripture saying the faculty of the human being was taken captive right so the demon used the faculty of the woman the child the baby the asha the un- the elder the husband whatever right mark chapter number 5 the man at gadarins 6000 demons sat on him possessed him that is what is mark 3 and the unclean spirits wherever they saw him now i want to put a very strong point balance on this one and when they wherever they saw him fell down before him and cried out saying what you are the son of god and then he straightly charged them the demons not to announce him before he gets to the cross because the assignment is not for an accurate word the assignment is that i may deliver this that you have bound and the only way to that is by dying where the assignment is that i was born to die the demons were saying accurate stuff <laughs> it looked like people should clap jesus was never en- encouraged by that he kept his focus on the assignment Oh just because it is accurate <laughs> let me come there just because it is what does not mean it is the season for its manifestation 
you are truly the son of god of of god is it yes he is truly the son of god why does he want them to stop saying that it was not yet time for him to be revealed so that the access point of every human being colossians chapter number 1 colossians chapter number 2 he everything was created by him and for him and everything constitutes what do you imagine that so it is go headed towards making him not jesus the son of god no it is making jesus lord over all that is the point of the cross until he gets there he is the son of david the son of man you see that so demons are trying to be fastidious in announcing someone that has not paid the price for sonship so he shut them down knowing that his assignment is fast to collect and draw many sons into the kingdom fast and then now any other demon that will show up to say anything accurate it's fine now watch with me and clean spirits saw him fell down before him cried and saying thou art the son of god so demons we know can speak very accurate prophecies including to the face of jesus that we know you you are the son of god you are different from the disciples and i put that balance again just because it is accurate does not also mean it is god you charge you judge not the prophet you judge the prophecy from the source source the message is correct at 16 the source is wrong you are apostles servants of the living god paul had it figured out eh she could be wow goodness that's a powerful mm, glory we are getting known in this city then he listened a bit second time he felt mm, mm, something is off yeah the bible declared in acts chapter number 16 after some time after what yeah because discernment does not just come you see that discernment is picked up by the frequency of the spirit and your spirit so he heard again Yeah just because someone is shouting there keda ho oh, ah oh yeah ba ba does not mean that's the spirit of god talking Uh yes <laughs> I know I'm living in that ka ka region where there is a lot of prophets prophetesses and they control the whole leadership and the whole church especially when 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 Kefas is playing like that and that's now when you hear is as if the now the spirit of god has moved strongly and the whole attention goes to the back because there is this young wom- woman or this mother that will be louder than the mic you, you've seen that before yeah there is a space in the in the scripture and in the context of the new testament where people will begin to be filled with the spirit of god and people will speak not in private but public tongues that is there like corporate worship like the way we just had but when it comes now to dealings with the spirit of god uh, according to the scripture he said as unto one a him to another psalm to another a tongue to the other one interpretation so that the body so now that is where the balance is the bo the body not you the body So you are Sam, you are him, my scripture, his scripture, your prophecy, her prophecy is towards building what? There is a balance. Outside of that, it will tend to get into manipulation, control. So it's every Sunday. It's every Sunday is the same lady trying to make the pastor know that I am also I am available. <laughs> Yeah, I am the ka prophet as you've ignored for a long time. Kadiba hana koshai. Ebra za 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 za. I love woo 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 woo. A lot of fits and and the whole I have been there. I've seen the whole congregation including uh sorry to say lady Julie, the ones that want to be, to to get married, they have to get the word from her. 
not their pastor so who best than pastor you need to tell you uh, leave mike alone no word no prophecy no speed nothing stay who better else so if you want to know that that's a strange spirit it will begin to isolate leadership is an absalom spirit it will sit at the gate so that he tells you david is busy he has a queue by the time you're getting to pastor unis you will be number 510 let me talk to you i am also anointed is an absalomic spirit i don't know why i routed there <laughs> uh, but let's put a balance strongly uh, on that one he straightly charged just like paul after the discernment picked up he said come out of her that was it no biashara no shop no prophecy no word of knowledge nothing she was shut. the mast was cut out there was no frequency the source is more important than the accurate word what did i say the source is more important than the accurate word we see in part truly oh yes we hear in part yes there is a government will come and teach by the grace of god when he allows us uh, the deeper matters by uh, the dealing of the spirit he has dealt with me let's finish here and then now he goes into a high mountain called unto him whom he would and they came to him my verse is verse 14 the protocol of an encounter and he ordained how many that they should do what uh uh-huh. read it that they should do what i want you to underline b with him that they should be what because the first protocol to an encounter is the protocol of intimacy what did i call it the protocol of intimacy it is that for god so loved the world that he did what it is his intimacy that produced salvation his love for humanity his intimacy obsessed with the creature that has been lost is the one that facilitated the son to come out of him to bring many other sons that he wanted into the king the protocol of what i and the father are one protocol of intimacy nothing will i do except that which i see my father doing intimacy he's not talking proximity he's talking there is no proximity that can get a man married a woman married or let's go even biological a woman pregnant you can't wish pregnancy can't prophesy it there has to be a dimension of closeness which is called fellowship sanctified word there so that then you can get a baby out of the fellowship otherwise if you wish and wish and wish and wish nothing will happen the protocol of intimacy is the number one rule that will bring you into an encounter he ordained the 12 that they should be what with him that they should be with him look at yourself or look at your neighbor and ask have you been with him so we came to church today this is evening i know we've got business very busy just like i am just like you are do you miss his presence do you even know when he misses you people here are lovers someone has a husband a wife a daughter a brother a bf a gf whatever it is so when you miss them what do you do is either two things in this age physically go there or they physically come to where you are or you call them you talk to them there is something about their voice that will calm the storm you'll it's all right i'll i'll see you tomorrow that's fine but at least you had their voice why because so much is revealed all of it actually is revealed in the object of love it is what you love 
is the object what you love that your eye will focus on so i usually say this your value what you value is revealed by your priority what you have prioritized is predicting where your value is completely whether you slice it dice it however you like it in business it will be the same they want to increase um margins there is something they will focus on this department and hammer that place until there is a production that comes out of it that will put the margins up safaricom will do that the same they know there is a law intake on data because people are saying it's expensive they will gather that data department and craft a strategy all of a sudden they will be on tv on radio on your phone it will be burst up everywhere and then all of a sudden by the end of the year ndegwa or at that particular time uh, the the man that has gone now will say safaricom end of year what and if you check the books data would have picked up why they are prioritizing what is in their value question would be what is it who is it that you value that's where your time is i just need to know and just come to i've got netflix myself i don't even know when last i watched it just gets deducted there's no one watching the thing in the entire house the last time i watched i watched a documentary on cult that's why i subscribed and that's 3 years ago it still deducts even today but my value and my priority is not there so i prioritize and i value what i have prioritized so you would find most of the time it will be ministry it will be word of god it will be it will be man of god it will be something that builds me up so from the rest of uh, the man of god miles monro all the way to the fathers kenneth e. hagin do every other thing all over that youtube if you come and check and scroll on the history that's what you will find your priority is predicted or your value is predicted by your priority he called the 12 that they may be with him and then there is a word there might might <laughs> and that he might send them might not that it is guaranteed might might be you might i might marry you hey that's a dangerous sp- space to be in might that he might meaning the protocol of intimacy will always usher in the next protocol the next protocol and so this is the next protocol that they might be with him that they might be with him and then he might send them send them so the protocol of intimacy will always be precluded because after the test has been said and done you've been with me you become pregnant with what i have so we've been so intimate so that's what they say until they look alike someone came from maragua the other one came from coast they've become so intimate you can't tell who's from central who's from coast right they produce children that look after that order right of intimacy so they have been in the protocol of intimacy been with him the next one is what comes out of intimacy is assignment which comes by identity so they were so much with him that the people looked at them and said uh, we know you guys didn't go to campus at all especially you peter but that someone that you brought out in acts chapter number 3 this and the miracle of this man at the beautiful gate it is that you have been with they took knowledge the bible says that they had been with who Now this is after Jesus has resurrected long time he's gone 
but the, the the center the reference point is that there was a man that acted this way did this kind of miracles and he, the, it is blowing our minds that peter you, we know your village we actually know your brothers i know we know andrew uh, uh, and the sons of thunder we actually know john the beloved was a teenager in the days of jesus how is it that peter and john were going into the temple and then all of a sudden the man jumps leaps enters into the temple with them at the gate beautiful and they come and they ask him by what power did you do this after it has been analyzed because that is how people do they will analyze the miracle analyze the growth analyze how you've lift, been lifted analyze and then they will come to a conclusion eventually so they said mm -mm, we have taken knowledge in our own research by the balances of research we have found out you have been with jesus this reference point is pointing to a guy that showed up back in nazareth could you be connected to and they said you've done well to know that we've been with jesus now men of jerusalem here comes another someone by the time the matter is ended the bible declared and god added to the church in jerusalem such as should be saved because they had been with who so the protocol of intimacy will bath the identity of the church which is him you will do miracles after his kind more than that you'll resurrect after his kind more than that you will heal after his kind. you will multiply bread after his kind. everything because you've been intimate there is no dna testing when you've been with jesus the evidence will show there is no proving uh, uh, we need to prove no that's for the world to do that they will check because they have no reference point but to church it is mind blowing that the kingdom of god the church zion would be able actually to characterize and analyze what jesus is doing in the midst of his people you know why they had not been in the first protocol intimate thomas put your hand on my side your hand on my hall say it is i and he said raboni just like mary he said oh wait wait before you say you have now believed blessed are they that believe without seeing see that so the evidence of the supernatural is not just in sight is not just in touch mm -mm. Just because there is sight and there is touch. Jesus does not, uh, the principle of the kingdom of God, especially in working with the supernatural, it is not that every supernatural act must be very boisterous. Mm -mm. He said, blessed are they that have believed and they have not touched. They have not seen. Another lesson for another day. Quickly, Genesis 28, verse 11. Here comes now, the place of encounters. This is Jacob. Verse 11, And he lighted upon a certain place, tarried there all night, because the sun was set. He took the stones of that place and put them in for his pillows and lay down. And he dreamed a dream and a ladder set on the earth mark that verse and the top of it reached where talk to me and the top of it reached where now watch the next the next part of that verse fat b and behold angels were doing what read that ascending loudly and angels of god were doing what and wait angels of god were so ascend is going up right where were the angels coming from? Going where? Where angels normally come from? And then, so what is the order there? The opposite of it, is it? All right, just hold on to that point. Behold, angels of God, what? Ascending and quite opposite completely. And behold, the Lord, who? 
stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, and the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. Okay? Verse 16. And Jacob awakened out of his sleep. And he said what? Surely the Lord is in this place and I knew not. Number one. And he was afraid and said how dreadful is this place. This is none other but the what? House of God and this is what? The gate of God. So eventually he called the place Bethel. The place of encounters. The house of God and the gate. Not to, but of heaven. The gate of heaven. The house of God and the gate of heaven. He woke up and he said, how dreadful is this place. Surely the Lord is where? In this place and I knew not. The place of encounters needs number one, sensitivity. Sensitivity. When God wants to bring you to an encounter, forget corporate, forget you as a family, you as an individual. He's meeting Jacob and in Jacob is Israel. The scripture declared he spoke one word to Jacob. It lighted upon Israel. So everything that he is about to encounter here is for the entire nation wrapped up in him as a person. You see that? Yes. Now the problem is this. When God comes to begin to deal with an individual, the person being dealt with in an encounter actually thinks it's just them. And yet there is Israel hidden in Jacob. So that is why I said sensitivity, number one. The key to not missing an encounter is what? You can write that slash discernment. Because if we say sensitivity, someone would think, ah, it's just curiosity. No. Sensitivity. He spoke one word to Jacob, uh, to, to, yes, to Jacob. It lighted upon an entire nation called Israel. He is wanting to deal with the babies that are going to come out of your loins. He is trying to tie you to the altar to speak to that generation that is coming. You are too insensitive to know the moments of encounter with him. So you are figuring out employment, a job, a rent, how you are going to do this and that. He is wooing you into the secret place of intimacy so that you can sit with him there. He makes you pregnant with the vision he has. You are so taken by this thing that the byproduct has become the main product to you. I woke up and the Bible declared, I knew not that this was the place of encounters. That the Lord is here and I knew not. Number one symptom of his sensitivity. Number one the number one symptom that will show you are insensitive is that you are casual about the things of God. Casuality. Mm -hmm. He woke up and he said, surely the Lord is in this place and I knew not. The next time, sir, so that you get to know Jacob had become now a guru in sensitivity. He walked the journey all the way. 20 years later, when that angel showed up, whether it was by mistake or by design, he said, I am not leaving you. I am not repeating another 20 years of emptiness. And the Bible declared he wrestled with a man in the morning and he his identity changed because encounters number two, the product of an encounter is your identity will be changed. It is a must that Saul will become Paul. It is a must that David will become my servant. It is a must that Samuel will become the prophet 
from Judah to Bethel after that he's come out of an encounter. It will be a must that the timid Peter after that he encountered Rabboni filled with the Holy Ghost will become an apostle that will bring the first birthing of the church. Must. Identities are always changing in the presence of an encounter. You don't have it is because you've not encountered nothing. When you encounter him, believe me, it will change. Can I show you? The scripture declared and God called Moses and told him, come up here, let's write the laws together. He wrote the first one. Second one, he, he had to write it himself because he got angry. But the Bible declared when he came off the mountain, there's a hunger that Moses had. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. This was a prayer. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me like the way you pray. And you repeat. And you repeat. You repeat. You are insisting. You are insisting. You see the problem with an insistence of prayer that is coming from a genuine heart is it attracts the like spirit. So it's just coming. You are heading towards it. It's heading towards. It's called the law of attraction. You understand that? Yeah, so you're calling on God. Show me your glory. He's dealing with your flesh, dealing with your appetite. De the, the hunger for food goes. Another hunger comes. He is not shown up day one, day two, day three, day four. Show me your glory. And then God comes and says, Moses, all right. The place of my glory is in a different rank. Come up hither. So he drags him and he says, I will not be able to show you my best part. I will show you my backside. But even his backside, you need to come up higher. So he drew him to the top of the mountain and the guy stuck, stuck there for 40 days. The Bible declared when he came down, the first visitor that had showed up from anywhere in the camp ran. Not high most, mm -mm, were running. The man came with what he had become pregnant with. He stuck there until the Bible declared he wished not that his face shone. Encounters will change your identity. It is clear that a woman that will be stuck up in her house to be able to deal with the matters of her destiny and do business genuinely with God after some time, believe me, something will break in that house. Not in your church, no in your house. But there is a staying power that needs to be there. It's the law of focus. What you behold, you become. We all with an open face as we behold him. We are changed not to our image but to the very same image even by the spirit. We all with an open face. We behold his glory as in a glass. We are changed to the same by the spirit. What you behold, you become. The law of focus. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. You want to see my glory? Okay, come up hither. I will bring you to the cleft of the rock. He was telling him, the honor of my glory in the earth is called the Christ. So I'll take you to his office. There you shall see my glory. Do you remember Jesus said no one comes to who? To the Father except mm -hmm. so he brought him to the cleft of the rock. Jesus. So Moses saw Jesus. Abraham in your day or in his day, Jesus speaking, he said he saw my day and he rejoiced. Oh, Melchizedek, the guy that walked to Abraham and he gave him a tithe of all. And then there was oil and bread exchange there. And that was the day Abraham saw, according to Jesus. And he said, your father, whom you call Abraham, saw my day. My day. He met him there. As the Melchizedek, the, pri the, the priest that has no beginning, has no end. He met Christ. And he gave him the bread, which was a facility of revelation to come, of him being the bread of life. He saw that day, and then it was withdrawn. 
until Matthew chapter number 1 when he showed up in the physical body. So Jesus is talking to a people that have no revelation because they are not sensitive. He's trying to break to them who he is. That all the fathers and the prophets spoke about me. I am the Lord of the Sabbath. The, the day you guys are functioning in is me. The day is a person. The event is a person. The sacrifices is a person. They couldn't get it. Until he went to the cross. And then at 3 p.m. An earthquake. And total darkness. Daylight. The sun was smacked the way you see. Uh, 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 what do you call? Solar, solar something. Ex during the day while they are watching. While that is happening, the earthquake struck the entire place. And when he is dead, people are resurrecting and he is dying. Very interesting. I don't know if you read the scripture. I, mean, I look at the scripture sometime, careful, and I'm like, what? Because he is dying, the Bible declared. When he said it is finished, he gave up the ghost. Right? The Bible does not say and on the third day when he resurrected the others resurrected. No. The Bible declared and there was darkness on the ninth hour. 3 p.m. For a period of about six hours or so. And then the graves of the righteous men then opened and they were seen in Jerusalem. Now that is another whole story. One man is dying at the corner of Ruaka. Other people are being seen in families coming back. Would you imagine that? And, and that does not cut news. Break it. I'm sure it was news everywhere. And then quiet for three days. While you guys are munching on a relative that has come back, a dad, a, a bishop, whoever it is, bam, third day. The guy that we put on the cross and we killed and his bread and bread. On top of that, we've put GSU on his burial ground. The Bible declared, go and make sure that the sepulcher is secured. And they made sure. They were paid to carry the assignment. They were there the whole night, first day. The whole night, two days. The third day, the Bible declared that an angel came. Rolled away the stone. They found the soldier smacked on the floor. Like the guns and everything done. And the guy came out. And the first person for women that can say amen. The first person that saw the resurrected Christ that has brought you to salvation was a woman. Would you imagine that? I brought you all that route to bring you to this verse. This verse 17 how dreadful is this place? This is none other but the what? The house of God and this is the gate of heaven. That word gate is a portal. This is the access point to the place of encounters. Quickly, how did it come to be? Altars are generational. Say that with me. Yeah, the reason why Jesus didn't come through your bloodline is because there is an altar that is generational there that does not match anything to do with the kingdom of God. That's why he didn't come through <laughs> yes, uh, your line. And he didn't come through mine either. He had to find a lineage. Alright? So, travel with me for about seven minutes and then we come to our first eye close. All the way. They say a good Baptist preacher will have seven of I close. So, <laughs> Jacob has a father. His name is who? Isaac. Isaac has a father. His name is who? Abraham. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? And the Bible declared, God speaks to Abraham, get thee out from thy father's house, from thy kindred, to the land I will show thee. Right? God cuts a covenant with Abraham. 
and he tells them this entire land you've seen I will give to you. By that time Isaac is nowhere. By the way, it was 25 years of barrenness until Isaac. 20 what? So you've been waiting for a man so that you can be married how long? There's a man that waited for a promise that came from God. When God speaks it's not prophecy. And it took 25 years like walking on a straight line for 25 years. And then at the spot here comes Isaac. I have things I can touch there. I don't want to go there. We we might have an overnight. The point is this. He is told Abraham get thee out from the place where I am not represented. Go out. I am going to sh- take you on a journey because to every destiny maker and to every man that will ever have an encounter it will take a journey with God not corporate personal he said Abraham get thee out not you and your father's house by the way <laughs> if i show you from the scripture when God said to Abraham the bible declared for God had said to Abraham get out there is a guy who was leading the entourage before it is his father mm so he had and then he gave the mantle to his father they went <laughs> and camped in a place that was another 20 a 15 years wasted actually not even 15 according to theology it could be 50 wasted because there are mixtures of 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 writings there but uh, for purposes of this lesson another 20 wasted for god had said to abraham so he gave the father terra the mantle he didn't hear mm, the place of encounters the door is too small for corporate entry the door is what yeah i am the door he said he said narrow is the way to life broader is the way to destruction and many be they that don't find the way to life mm We want to fast to have an encounter. You are looking for another sister to help you with prayer so that you have a cop uh, sir. The dealing you will come both of you but the door will fit only you. That door to bring you to the place where Jacob was in an encounter will only fit Abraham. So he lived and walked with God to an extent when he cut the covenant to bring Isaac the scripture declared he began to speak to Abraham your children will go into bondage for 400 years he is in a vision okay and the bible declared after that i will judge the nation he is in an encounter and they will come out god had spake, spoken and told him out of thy own loins not out of eliezer shall come out the, pro, the, the the son of promise which is isaac and the bible declared in abraham built what an altar and to the lord as the first one he built three so by the time this guy grandchild third generation is walking the bible declared and he stumbled into a place you think that is stumbling something was drawing him gps to that direction because that is what altars do they will dry, they, you don't care whether you are in the US whether you are in Ca- the Caribbean whether you live a house underneath in New Zealand in an ice the altar will draw you to the particular spot where a spirit will have interaction he staggered and landed on a place super tired the head he put on was one of the stones to build the altar yes he stumbled and he left he slept and then whoosh, here comes an open heaven it didn't just happen by accident the great grandfather had an encounter and he built up an open heaven there he smack right in the midst of the desert an open heaven waiting for a grandchild that will also have a walk towards the same direction see it is the way you raise your children after the ways of the god you know that the kids will stumble yeah drunk stumble into a crusade in ruaka drunk or given to drinking and whatsoever drunk into a conference hall mm. the, 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 the altar 
which you have built unto God is the thing that is making the, the attraction. So he is weak and weakness and sin and everything. He is 28, out of compass, flagrant, everywhere. He stumbled to Uhuru Park. Bam, pius muiru. Drunk, say, Father, Father, I receive, I receive you. You think it is the drunk guy. No, the covenant altar is drawn him in his state. And then all of a sudden, two years, one year down the line, he's a young man preaching, serving God. He didn't come by accident. Altars are generational. Remember my statement? And so he staggers there and he puts his head on the pillow and an open heaven because that stone was one of the stones where Abraham lifted up an altar and cut a covenant with God. And then he wakes up and he says, goodness, surely the Lord is in this place and I knew not. And he became so afraid because of the encounter. How dreadful is this place because of the activity. The activity, sir. The activity. The activity. The activity. Let me talk about the activity. The activity is that people came to uh, Lady Pastor Eunice's service Sunday after Sunday. One afternoon, Friday. The other conference coming and then activities began to change. Stuff began to happen. Yeah, people are falling by themselves. We do not know what's happening. We had to put a carpet because people would bust their head. Activities. All of a sudden, worship is going on. No one is singing off key. Everyone is on key. But people can't be able to sing. Uh, the altar becomes too small. The word cannot be shared. We say the grace. We, by the time we were saying amen, we were there stuck for another 30 minutes. We were saying amen, the last we remember. Activities. I'm not talking about exertion of energy. Mm -mm. Act spiritual activities. He said, I did not know. How dreadful is this place? Sir, when you come into the place of supernatural encounters with God, it is you first that will begin to witness the activities around your life. That will include presence. So you enter the house, you know someone is in the house. And it's not your husband. Not the children. Activities comes with presence. Encounters. Will I can tell you my own testimony quickly. I have known angels by presence. I have talked to angels by presence. There are men of God that I know have seen liquidified personality that crystallized right like the way you are looking at me. He didn't ask for an encounter, but the angel, the presence liquidified, solidified rather, and became a person. Presence. Encounters will always lead to presence. Moses, come, 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 come. And I will hide in the cleft of the rock, right? And then all of a sudden, what mounted on Moses? He came out, right? He didn't know. The Bible says he wist not that his facial. So he came out and the people didn't see Moses. They saw the presence that came with him. And he had to cover himself. He was so shiny, they didn't need light. They just bring Moses into the room. The place is lit. That, that is if you can gather Moses. Okay, forget that. How is it, Lady Eunice, that in one Moses was 70 Moseses? In one. The, techno the technology of the spirit is amazing. How come Theophilus sang that he is not in the church? Where have we left him? Sam Moses, he said, come. Moses, I don't want you to die early. Set before me 70 men. And I will take not from my spirit in heaven. From you. One man anointed. And he was told the instruction is simple. The captains of hundreds. The captain of fifties. And the captain of tens. Now there are how many? 70. 
multiply 70 by 100, by 50, by 10 in that order of 70 men. You understand that? And then bring Moses into the sin and there is nothing happening. It doesn't even look like something is happening. But the spirit of God is doing the transfer to 70 men. Like withdrawing at the same time in an account. I thought equity will be just 70k and then that's it. You have to wait another. This transfer is happening at the same time and Moses is not falling. They are not putting IV on Moses. The guy is standing there. Transfers are happening. And he still wakes up, go home, chop life. The next day, the thing that happened to them happened to other two that were not in the camp. They were stuck somewhere in traffic. Uhuru Highway. While this is happening here, it jumped on them in the car. They began to prophesy right in the street or right in the house. That is the Moses. Old Testament. Not with the spirit poured out to you and I. New Testament. And the only thing that we know about him is tongues. That is the only encounter we have with the spirit. I mean, the kind of limitation is heartbreaking. When he, the spirit of truth, shall come, he shall lead you. Wait. Did it say some truth? What did he say? That includes who shall marry you. Hmm. That includes the business that will begin in 2030. That you can be able to anchor in now. It is all truth. In different dimensions. So if the spirit that brings encounters was with Jacob, was with Moses, is the same spirit that was poured out to the New Testament believers to the extent that when Paul and Silas showed up, they said the men that have turned the world upside down have come to us. In fact, they said the gods have come to us. Mm. I don't want to be known. Uh, Prophet John Haggai is among the other prophets. Oh, very accurate. Uh, no, no. The, other, the other next thing they say is very powerful. And then that's it. No. What is the other names that go before a whole professor comes? Dr. MS, the doc will tell us. The, 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 the commas are several by the time you are landing to Odiambo. Because the guy is loaded with energy. You see, when you become a doctor of philosophy or doctor of sciences, it means you have acquired first degree in this, second degree in this. In all sciences, in everywhere in the world, you can teach in that faculty. Hmm. Master of science, doctor of this, PhD in that. In all of sciences, until you've, become, you've been awarded that, you can teach anywhere in any science faculty. And on top of it, you're speaking several languages. So you can go to Argentina or Germany and speak and write notes and teach a faculty there. Come to Kenya, speak in English and teach in Nairobi University. Now, question. They had been with Jesus. So they were full of him, full of his spirit. He added the Holy Ghost. So they became doctors, PhD holders in all matters supernatural. They were looking for where to manifest. The first place was at the temple. Get beautiful. They manifested. The next guy you are reading about is Peter. And he is now left laying hands. He's just walking. Shadows are healing. He's just walking. Walk walking, sir. Walking. Meaning, you can just become a safari mast in Ruaka. God will tell you uh, today, <clears throat> now that you've... Uh, I released yourself to me for this encounter. I give you the gift of my presence. Go stand in Ruaka. So you just come. Earphones on. From your standing point, you become a, a must. Guys are either attracted or falling by themselves or you're causing deliverance. Every, you are standing. You didn't say amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No mic. Nothing. When are we going to get there? A man, a man coming out of Whitstone getting into London in a train. One of the fathers of faith, 1800s. He sat on a brake. People are lighting off like Madaraka train. 
and he is coming almost close to London. People are beginning to fall out. People are removing cigarettes out of their mouth. Drunkards are being filled with the Holy Spirit. People are rolling out. Every time he would be on a train coming into London, that will happen over and over again. So in one of those instances, there was a stranger in Jerusalem at that time. They asked, what? What's, what kind of thing is this? Why are people crying and this one falling out? This is a real story. They said, it looks like um, Brother D.L. Moody is in town. That is the introduction. So when he comes, this kind happens. So we know the identity of his coming. This is that. At uh, Luke, uh, uh, Joel chapter number 2. This is that. Peter is quoting him. This is that. The same spirit, different encounters. Different dispensations. Same Holy Spirit. I'm done now to my first I close. The place of encounters. The house of God. Encounter number one you will have is the encounter with the word of God. Encounter number two you will have is that and the house of God is where light is fed. This is light you've just feasted on. The house of God. Psalm 63 and verse 1. O oh Lord thou art my God, early will I seek thee in a dry and a thirsty land to see thy glory and to see thy power such as I have seen it where? In the sanctuary. The house of God. The place of encounters with the word of God is in the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. The second place of encounters where you can meet one on one with spirits is the Place of priesthood. Priest what? Priesthood. The place of priesthood is where you encounter angels by the level of rank you've lifted up to God by your altar. That is why angels were ascending, not descending. The order first is that there was so much high ranking priesthood that was ascending to heaven, that opened that region. So angels were seated, resident on earth, not coming from heaven. You want a permanence, you want a presence that stays with you, priesthood. If you are here, you are under the age of 25 all the way to 30, and you've not prayed 10 hours straight, you are joking with your destiny. Clear. If you've not stayed in one place or post in one place or paced in one place or fasted from in many days or whatever for 10 hours doing a crash course on priesthood, you are still on the outer court of Christianity. Where the, when where, then this entourage they give him the mm. that is where you are the place of intimacy be believe me will locate men that are the outer court by virtue of their rank the spirit of god will come and pick you from the crowd like he picked me and bring you don't care what protocol to the front Oh, the thing he said that when you go into a, a guest or into a wedding, you need to sit at the back and then the owners of the event will come looking for you. He's a priesthood phenomenon. He didn't come because you came shining. You wore so that you can be magnanimous. We can tell that is so and so. No. You can be so known and so seen and ignored. Can I show you priesthood? Bartimaeus, son of David, one time, have mercy. Son of David, two time, have mercy. Son of David, three time, have mercy on me. Jesus did what? And he said, who is that? What did the disciples say? While he's shouting, shut it down. Yeah, you don't know there's order here. There's, there's importance here. Come down. Yeah, you don't work like this. 
You don't you don't have to. You're working too hard. These fastings, eh? You want to die. You, you just come it down. Eat a bit. Chop life. Uh, if he will come, it will come in your season. And especially if you find believers, they will encourage you with all manner of scriptures. The guy was continually shouting, even what? The more. Did you read that? He shouted what? So while he's shouting, your Bible says he shouted. Right? Son of David, have mercy. That's called priesthood. He was drawing the altar, the virtue, the power, calling on the attention. Psalm 6, 3 and verse 1. Ali will I do what? Seek thee. And then in a dry and a thirsty land. I don't know what dryness you have in your life. But the, the reason why you could become and collected about the kind of stuff that you've passed through is because you are still in a dry and a thirsty land and you're not crying and you're not seeking early to see thy power and thy glory such as I have seen it where? In the sanctuary. The first place they encounter with the word of God in the house. It brings mental structures, cultural structures and belief down. It lifts and exalts Jesus, the word of God. And then it opens you up to the facility of the Spirit of God. Son of David, have mercy, have mercy. They told him, ah, he's busy. Yes, surely the man of God is in Dubai. He will be coming in two weeks. Um, uh, the assistant pastor is here. Could pray for you. David, the guy didn't know Aunt Peter, no Bartholomew, no one. Son of who? His focus was where? On Jesus cried the more. <laughs> Protocol teams and church and organization were shutting him down. The place of encounters consistently will always be fought by religion and systems of human administration. Yes. What did I call it in an example? You don't have to do that. Yeah. All this sacrifice for a, for, for a man of God. You, are, you, you mean this, all of this. What are you looking for? What have I not given you? Um, what do we not, why don't, what don't we have? All this fasting, oh, you are in that house for how long? Don't you know I am your husband or your wife? Or you, 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 you will kill yourself so that you don't have no encounter. He cried and then all of a sudden, interesting, Jesus turned and he said, bring him to me. Are you insisting for an encounter or you are giving up because he didn't answer on the first day, on the first fasting, on the sacrifice you lifted, um, on the payment you did or the expectation. He cried the more and then Jesus turned. He didn't say you are disturbing the crowd. He said bring him. So they are about to get intimate. And the disciples, very interesting. This is church now. <laughs> they say, cheer up. Yeah, like we, we've, we, we, we are the ones in charge here. We've got a new instruction. Come on. That's how, that's how church is. Very primed with pride. Eh? With the system of administration is to tie the glory of God from happening. And then when God busts out of his glory by himself, they're the one that will tell you, we knew all along, you are a man of encounters. Kadaba Hashai. Oh, we knew. This powerful. Yeah. We knew it all along. Glory to God. The first time I saw you, man of God, uh, I, I knew. There is no testimony there. This is excitement. Believe me. Until his word came, Joseph was where? in the prison until his there is always a season when your word will come huh? and the day it comes is the people that never thought there will be any word for you that will tell you okay cheer up you're going to the palace now remember us when you are there you know we prayed for you we fasted and that shoe I gave you the first time mm, now he's called for you cheer up system of administration to limit the glory of God. And this is church in the 21st century. Yeah. You just do a crazy miracle that has no reference point theologically. 
and it is not in the category of this uh, uh, more signs than this shall you do it is not in that category no reference but the people that will come after you is not a muslim is gatekeepers that are called administrators of the gospel even including fathers don't tell this thing you are beginning theologically speaking um uh, you need to have a balance um um yeah um we've been here the t- we know that hey He said, if I cast out the devil with the finger of God, then the kingdom of God is at hand. He didn't say a finger physically. He was pointing to authority. That's why the cop will say, you come. Not you. Pointed. That's why it is the same authority and accusation. Same finger. Have you figured out? Yeah, you. I saw you. Accusation. You come. Same finger. Authority, either used correctly or wrongly. If I cast out devils by the authority of God, then the kingdom has come. You understand that? I've been there. There are so many things I can share, but I want us to pray now. The gate of heaven, the place of encounters, the portal. You can only open that by sacrifice. That's why the father paid the price to walk with God until God said, can I hide anything from Abraham? I am actually coming to Ruaka. There is a flood coming, but there is my daughter and my son on the way of that flood. Can I hide that the rains that are coming will take out their house? So he comes in the dream and puts you right across into an open vision. Of what's coming to Ruaka. Even you and your intestines. Knows that that was not a dream. You wake up. And the next thing God avails money out of nowhere. And there is an agitation to move. The day you moved. To go to the other corner of Kiambu. You see the thing in the news. The exact spot. Maybe there is a deluge. Who was talking to you? Who? You see that? So that is what Abraham had walked with God. He obeyed God. It was accounted for him as righteousness. The day he came to destroy an entire city, he came to one. That, that, that has always bothered me. That in our 40 million plus Kenyans, maybe 20 something Pentecostals, and maybe 5 million truly serious believers, he will come to one. To speak the entire paperwork of the nation. One person. If that does not boil your spiritual hunger inside to be that one person. He came to Abraham, lady, Pastor Eunice, and said, can I hide anything? Meaning in the entire population, there was none that was in the cutting age of covenant than Abraham alone in the entire population. And then God comes and whispers a secret. I am coming to Sodom. To destroy. So what happens to other Pentecostals. To other Zionists. To other Hellenistic. Whatever. To what, what was happening. And that is how he saved Lot. Because he had a whisper. From the place of en- encounters. We want to stand now momentarily. We pray. Sorry to have taken your time. I don't have time. But there is a woman here now. There. That is. The spirit of God is going to come to you at night. Beginning tonight. And he will bring you to the place of hunger and prayer. Very strongly. Very strongly. It will be a marking point to you. Because then there will be no sleep. Something will just be drawing you to the place of prayer. Like if just for two minutes, open up yourself to the Spirit of God and tell the Spirit of God, I have come to feast on light those few minutes I've had. I want the practicality of this. Baptize me in the hunger for thy presence. Call on him now. Lift it up. Let me hear your prayer. Yeah, let the Spirit of God hear. 
let the spirit of god hear let the spirit of god hear yes draw me to the place of encounter i yield my vessels my members myself to you i don't want to play religion i don't want to be known as a pentecostal believer as a professional christian and as a businessman and woman i strive for mastery that's how you pray come on come on come on come on lift your voice up lift your voice lift your voice lift your voice cry for something heavier than a sunday service than a devotional something he said i will draw all they that are hungry come come let me give you a drink that you will never thirst again 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 le ko pas kombala na mahana no shai e presusa salere me kopali ke takapantos koma anana manteme e pres kova ma liriri bi pas koma ana kampemia give me an encounter a hunger for thy presence a hunger for thy presence a hunger for thy presence a hunger yes i desensitize every desensitivity in me i sensitize my spirit my soul to the sensitivity of the spirit of god i open up my faculties 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 in my age in my father's house in my marriage i will be able to hear that which you're saying open up your mouth tell him tonight tell him tonight i open myself to sensitivity of the spirit of god in the name of jesus pekato seke pelala mahona Lire bekosa kapatam kama come on lift it up one more time come on one more time ah you are too cold you are too cold open up your mouth open up your spirit open up your spirit there has to be a hunger that is coming out of your priesthood is coming out of your prayer life out of your own altar cry out i am lost without you le capasola le le prescopa ta ka push for one minute push for one minute na will mark my beginning in the name of Jesus I don't know if there is a jambi here is there someone called jambi something to do I don't know if this is Elizabeth is there any Elizabeth here no Elizabeth no jambi there are people that are going to come on Sunday one of them is going to be jambi Jambi but there is someone here that is called Jerry Is there an Jerry here? Jerry come I am desperate for you oh. Yeah Yeah I don't know how long you pray I don't know how long but God wants to give you a gift today God is going to give you a gift. Yeah? And he's going to baptize you. One more come very close. Yeah. They don't have to fall but they keep falling. They don't have to, but when the anointing is present, that is what it does. Now the power of God is going to come to you in your prayer life to empower you to stay. And I know there is a husband and I know there are children.
but this thing that is going to draw you ma it is going to make you look as if you don't eat and yet you are strong there is a fasting anointing that is going to come to you not because you are seeking answers all of a sudden it will explode in the inside of you to seek god in a way that has never been witnessed then all of a sudden dreams will open and these are going to be prophetic dreams meaning you will see some things in your family it will begin in your own family from children to relatives to in-laws that will be accurate but it is after the order of the secret place so father mina salaba hananosha yeah there you go pelana robo hosha socially in the name of jesus mm is coming to you strong and that anointing will usher you in into the secret place by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus the hunger that you've had before as a young woman is returning back and the lord will tell me to tell you will tell me to tell you that you're going to be an answer oh spiritually you're going to be an answer to many to many pekato sakama hana na mosha mampeme brasco batala zegede berosha is there a daughter is there a daughter a baby girl you're the husband come Is there a daughter you have a daughter? You don't have a daughter. You have a son. You're expecting a son. Glory to God, see? Come. In the name of Jesus. Father, seal. Seal it. Seal it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> What you are about to bath, bring forth. is a man of god this is her ministry now it's biological it depends with what you want how many that is but what i see here the name is a prophet's name it's called hosea that's what i see it doesn't mean you need to name him after i've named but that's the order of his character and his ministry will be after Hosea. Study the book of Hosea together with your wife whoever whatsoever name the spirit of God will give you name but the character of him will be after Hosea. Mama in the name of Jesus. We seal by the blood of Jesus. There will be nothing to do with high blood pressure that will come after you. Your child is safe will be delivered full time in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost Now in the name of Jesus Hallelujah help her up Sav um who is I know there is George what's your name Ernest Sav the woman of you come here Sav the woman of God your pastor in anyhow in one whatever capacity you serve here already serve what's going to come out of mom and consequently i see a girl coming after this boy see she's under the anointing i see a boy now as you've said but there's a girl coming she will be a psalmist not no, not a i know i know there is um past present participle sing singer there is no singest so there is no song songa she will be a, not a singer she will be a psalmist father in the name of jesus touch her now in the name of jesus In the name of Je- the name I hear is Mbere. I don't know if there is someone from Mbere here or whoever it is connected to that region. But I speak in the name of Jesus. Joy unspeakable and full of glory comes upon you. Your ministry is to give birth to destiny babies. Yeah, this is one of them. This is one of them. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Lead her quietly to our seat. I I I might not have all the time for tonight. K 
Keta barazuze bekem pamana la lebre zufra hana kapalia. Kede de bohosha. Glory. Glory. Just one minute. Glory to the land. Glory. Glory. Glory to the land. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You're the Lamb upon the throne and unto you will he ikapasala la mahana nalosha you're the lamb upon one more time the throne for you are glorious for you are glorious Helen, 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 that's another name. You're the Lamb of Helen. Ina makose kabarazuza za nyambura, nyambura. Ana, come, if you have you hear your name, just come by yourself. Nyambura. Voice and say, you're the Lamb of the throne. Uh, most of the time, uh, uh, Pastor Eunice, because we are online, <laughs> we call word of knowledge, this is word of knowledge, name, and then sometimes the people, I can't see them, right? They can't see each other. They're actually not even present. And then that word stays online. And then they stumble on the same tape on a different day. And the word is as fresh as you are on a live service. I have seen messages coming to me from the US telling me, I am so and so you called me in your service in Kenya. Past. Mm. I called. Bere. You come from Bere? Come, come. What? That's like the name. Me, I'm thinking tribe. Come. Oh, the spirit doesn't miss. Don't worry. We are coming to you. We are coming to you. What did I call? Nyambura. Nyambura. Ah. Come stand here. And then come down. Up, up. And now come down. So what you've just done is called a prophetic action or symbol. You are supposed to stand up, lifted, exalted, and then you are brought down. So the Spirit of God is telling me to tell you, tonight marks the period of restoration. Now to this place, where it becomes permanent. You run business? You run business. What business is that? in a marketplace. Mm. Now let me tell you. <laughs> that's why I said come stand here. I show you something. You're supposed to be here. But the stagnation that you've encountered has put you in one place down here for a long time. Now what I'm about to break out of you is not delay. It's stagnation. There is a difference between delay and stagnation. Hmm? Father, let it be so. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we decree and declare, lose her now. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, every kind of bondage that has made you to be delayed in one place to eat the bread of sorrows, I cast it off of you now 
in the name of Jesus. Lose her, let her go. Lose her, let her go. Are you married? You have children? Not married, no children. You stay alone? Here, around here. You come to church here. This is the first time. Ah, we love people like you. Come here. That means you have faith. What's your first name? Mary. And then Nyabura, as they call it in your tongue. There is a place I see in the spirit has red soil. Red soil. Where do you come from? Originally. Hmm. You know a place called uh, Aloy Tok Tok or something. You've heard Aloy Tok Tok. You don't have any Maasai blood on you. Pure, pure. Now, in the name of Jesus, you see, the power of God is going to break you out of delay, stagnation, and curses. I step on your shoe and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, come out of dry places. Come out of dry places. Come out of dry places. Out now in the name of command you to come out. Loser, let her go. Let bondages break tonight at the power of the Holy Ghost. Loser, now in the name of Jesus. You will carry no shoulder, no burdens. You are not a beast to carry the burden of a beast in the name of Jesus. This rejection goes off of you. Now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I breathe unto you new life. Stand up for me. At the power of the Holy Spirit. This struggle comes off of you. I break the curse of rejection. I put to you the, ve- uh, the garment. The garment of favor. The garment of favor. God is going to... Can I talk to you Mary? God is going to give you a farm. I see a farm. I don't know what level of education you've reached, but God is going to take you into green housing, agribusiness, 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 agribusiness. The matter of that's why I said about Oloy Tok Tok. I see a lot of rain in a place. A lot of rain keeps on raining. And I asked the Lord, what is this? He said, this is Oloy Tok Tok. And connection is going to come to you to move produce. I didn't say to carry. I said to move you and the people that have been in your case not knowing who you will become are about to announce you they are about to announce you to them the spirit of God will give you favor and he will cut you off from struggle that's why we prayed like that and he will bring you into visibility Hmm? believe what I'm saying write it down go write it on your notepad fight with that word you are about to move from carrying to moving and God will give you your own piece of land that you will cultivate whatsoever you want to cultivate and God is going to bring a man Hmm? after this long way delay is going to be broken regarding marriage come Sunday Hmm? which is the day after tomorrow come just do whatever it is you need to be here by 10 or something we will pick up this prophecy in that prophetic service. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a seat for a moment. I talk to her. And then we we be able to say the grace. Bere. What, what is the first name? Grace. Grace. very interesting kef the song I'm hearing for her is a prophetic song but an old one 
Lady Pastor Eunice. Bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing. Bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves. Come closer. Bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing. Bringing in the sheaves. The Spirit of God will tell me to tell you. The harvest has been delayed for a long time. <laughs> but they that have gone out sowing in tears shall doubtlessly come back. There is a returning that is about to get to you now. Is getting ready to be announced in this service right now. The power of God is going to come to you strong as if it is electricity. It is about to land on you to bring in everything that has been scattered. The Spirit of God will tell me it is going back to the place of Ezekiel 37. And anything that has ever been scattered is calling out to the man of God to bring out and to shout, Restore unto this woman her goods. <laughs> harvest. Harvest. Act as a matter of fact harvest whether it is from civil duty from business everything that has been stuck and has been taken for a long time to bring in the harvest your prayer for restoration is come to you now from the top of your hair to the sole of your feet i release the anointing of the spirit of god i release the anointing of the spirit of god i release the anointing of the spirit of god I release the anointing of the Spirit of God. Like a mighty wind, blow out of proportion every kind of enchantment against you by the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Are you employed? When last was you, was, was you promoted? A month ago. Is it a better position? Is it better than the former? The terms, yes. Is better. Terms changed. Mm. Mm. Civil service? Private. And I called Baruch, my brother, Nehemiah talking, who was in charge of the accounts. There is an account that is going to come. You know that language by, in terms of law. You are going to close an account in your farm where you work in terms of administration. And they are going to recognize you. The thing I see is written, the employee of. That's what I see. The employee of. Seems to me like someone has spoken to you this before. Yeah. There you go. The, emp the best employee something written in a placard. For that let me tell you it's not the end neither it's just a metamorphosis the beginning the Lord is going to honor you in such a way that you will honor this house that's why I called bringing in the shoes it's it's a song that came out of the belly of the spirit you shall come back rejoicing bringing in the shoes I release the power of God on you now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, he's coming strong. He is coming strong. That anointing that is going to come on you, Mary, is going like to be in the order of Esther. You, it will become an, very hard to resist you, to be ignored. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Mm. 
and it is do you have a daughter <laughs> it's on your girl the same anointing is jumping on your girl it will be the same thing in school head of this prefect uh, head of that or of this something something happening around leadership around leadership in the name of Jesus here we go here comes the entourage same anointing yeah same anointing hi same anointing in the name of this guy is a high shot lawyer this one you are planting the seed for him mm. Mm. he is the next the caminoas in that rank up there what is his name michael mike by the power of the holy ghost he said let the children come to me i speak in the name of jesus a transference <laughs> a transference in the name of jesus this guy will be in the news the same way you've read orengo 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 many many years until we have become this we are still hearing his name he is it and on top of that he is a servant of god this one michael in the name of jesus you see you see the demeanor mm. <sighs> the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus so shall it be you will close an account that the deal in the entire law firm will look like it's so hard to crack i see something that is international related to that law firm given as an instruction <laughs> and it will have your name all over it as a client to tie that account you will close in the deal the paperwork and the legal infrastructure for it in the name of Jesus, they will honor you more and more more and more more and more more and more you will never be isolated and left alone no sir no ma'am bringing in the sheaves if you shall come rejoicing yes when the lord brought back the captivity of zion we were like them that dreamed mm. there is a car tied to that instruction a whole brand new car yeah you have to hold her the anointing is still here a whole brand new car yeah i don't know where your husband is is it? oh sir you oh sorry <laughs> you're the man who prophesied first before i came to confirm it yes yeah but these matters have been discussed before in the house so the woman of god and myself three parties together the cord has been confirmed you are about to rise this entire household wow the lord is telling me to tell you i don't know who owns a house or you don't but the number one sign to ownership is going to move you are going to move to actually one of the best residences here in ruaka <laughs> and there is a transfer of your children from school they are going to enter into a facility that if you even if you dreamt it will look it very impossible that transfer is coming these kids are going to very international standards yeah it's been the dream written i see a diary and a desire from your wife about these children regarding their schooling to a certain degree a higher dose of levels of education that you guys have not experienced and you want them to to study early in that dimension god is going to open that up the one sign that i want you to mark is you will move if you see that house that i see in the spirit even you will know that god spoke this one because outside of me and the god that spoke is impossible is here mm, that house is here it's actually along a very private route residence the people that stays there you can tell they are blessed 
That is what God is telling me to tell you. You will be ushered into that residence. The kids will just become fluent in English. Yeah. God is going to transfer you and bring you into the place of glory. Because you've served God over time. With your faithful, with your little. He's about to surprise you. <laughs> He's about to surprise you. He's about to surprise you. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be so. Let it be so. Someone poured a glass of water. Meaning you transferred something to a thirsty soul. Which was the woman of God. You sacrificed and took the glass of water out of the well of the garrison of the Philistines. And she took that as an offering and poured it out before the Lord. Now the Lord is saying the strong men of David are here. He's giving me that name for you. The strong men of David. <laughs> yes. There are people that defend the gospel by faith, by preaching. They are defenders of it. Then there are people that defend the gospel by money. You are the strong men of David. The defenders of faith by finance. Believe me. I know I am not mad. I know what I'm talking about. Yes. It is going to come. And that law firm will promote you twice in one year. Twice in market. Twice in one year. It shall be so. Make a passer. So shall it be. You stay around here, just not up the road. Eh? There is a private school down, down here on the curve, something international, something. On the other side, I think it's kindergarten up to something, something. They do all the way to IG. It's, it's on your way, on your way out. I think there is a school there on the left side of the road on the other side. River what? Foresight Academy. It's an international school. <laughs> Go there and get the admission letter. Admission, whatever, whatever thing. God is going to take your children as a stepping stone to that school. Get ready. Pack like, the, like you literally pack bags to move. Pack their stuff. Because in the next coming season, shortly after now, God will open mighty doors. Huh? That your kids will enter into a school. That you, if you are asked, you will know. Jehovah did this by himself. That will be the preparatory place. Because they are headed towards a very high level school. It's a dream, actually. I'm talking what she has. It's like a burden. That the desire for... <laughs> amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to finish. God bless you. God bless you. I have so many things to say. Uh, by the grace of God, we've been invited on Sunday. Uh, let's stand now. I finish now before it gets to the Lord asked me to do something uh, lady pastor Eunice this is me okay this is me this is for the woman of God and uh, it's because of what she's about to get into mm. so there's a seed I'm going to give you and uh, the Spirit of God is going to initiate many things regarding the piece of real estate we need to buy. Yeah. Let's meet on Sunday because if I go into that journey, we might uh, end up in some, in some place. Had you given before?
you had already given okay so because i am standing on the pulpit i am going to uh, ask you to give and it shall be given unto you is there an envelope no envelope give me an envelope me first love of the Lord ever ceases His mercies one envelope for me ever comes to an end They are new every morning new every morning Great is thy faithfulness O Lord yeah Father I bless every offering every sacrifice in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen and amen go ahead and give that instruction was for me so just go ahead and give your offering Go ahead. Great is thy faithfulness. They are new every morning. They are new every morning. New every morning. You remind me, Kephas, <laughs> with that bit. Faithfulness. Oh God, yeah. Tom. Someone either called Thomas or Tom. Uh, but the Spirit of God will isolate you on Sunday. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for the grace of God. Thank you because you are lifted here. Thank you for the woman of God and the burden and the vision for this house. We submit ourselves under the mighty hand of God. We decree and declare this place has become too small, too straight. We now take to the borders of Jordan to cut down trees to build a larger place. We decree and declare that on the other side of Jordan is dominion. We speak it on this altar. We decree and declare let it be so. Open this house to influence. To become the salt. Let these meetings pick up. Let healings occur. Let miracles occur. Let prophecies run by the accuracy of the spirit. Let men encounter Adonai. That which is a river tonight. Let it become a floodgate. In the name of Jesus. That nation shall be drawn here because you are lifted by the power of the Holy Ghost. We break limitation of our worker that limits church, men and women of God, stifles the anointing. We break the power and the hold of religion, tradition, the house of Mumbi. We decree and declare your altar comes down. We open the facility of the kingdom from left, right, and center of Ruaka. Let there be multitudes coming into church. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Woman of God, they will become, they will be coming like bees. A lot of traffic that is headed towards house of grace. And it shall be said, <laughs> what has happened to the woman of God? What has happened to the woman of, what has happened to the woman of God? While I am talking, the person I see close to you in terms of rank and the anointing woman of God is evangelist prophetess Teresia Wairimo. I am not saying that lightly. I am not saying that lightly to excite anyone. That's what I see. They will say what has happened to the woman of God. That will be a question that does not in an answer. It will be in the lips of many people here all the way straight down and upwards 
they are coming wait for it you shall see it will come in jesus mighty name give the lord a praise tonight amen thank you woman of god thank you thank you for honoring us Ah, the people who attend the morning devotion, it's like he has been in our morning devotion. Remember discernment, sensitivity, yeah, grace. Remember your horn shall be lifted like the horn of a unicorn in the same place where you suffered shame. The Lord will lift you. People who came for the first and second encounter, the second encounter meeting, spoke about that. That tells you the Lord is with us. Huh? If you need that, do you now need another confirmation? Do you need another confirmation? No. God is about to do great things. I didn't plan for this. It turned out to be like a conference. You know me. I didn't plan for this. All I can say, this is the doing. It's the things that God plans. And we owe him all the praise, the glory, and the honor. We are putting a comma. We pick it up from there on, on Sunday. Amen. I don't want to say much. But I think I'm just in awe of what God can do. All that God is looking for is a willing heart. A heart that thirsts for him. A heart that longs for him. A heart that spends time with him. That's all God wants. And those are the things that God has been speaking to us. Amen. God bless you protect and watch over you even as you go to your homes and may the spirit of God continue to speak to you may that which has begun here not end may you have encounters in the night may God begin to draw some of you God will begin to draw you God will begin to speak to you huh? God will be some of you are even going to be filled with the Holy Spirit in your beds in your rooms in those in your secret chambers god is begin to be, going to begin to visit you in that quiet in that secret place amen amen let's meet on sunday